Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is a brand new video and I really hope you enjoy. I was just suggested to look at the DC superhero Sideways, aka Derek James. He was described as a Spider-Man type character. He seems like a fun character and his costume kind of reminds me of Spider-Man's. I decided to read the first three Sideways issues. To me, to give a TV show or comic a chance, you watch three episodes or read three issues of it. So that's what I did. I had no idea about anything about him before. I never read anything about Sideways, but now I have read it and I will give you my thoughts. The story is Sideways got his powers after a trip to Gotham City where he fell through a dimensional rift into the Dark Matter dimension following the events of Dark Knight's metal. As a result, he gains the power to travel through dimensions and create rifts that can act as small barriers. He uses his powers to try and become an internet sensation and posts himself using his powers on a live stream. But during his first run, a mysterious figure seems to be following him wherever he zips to. The guy is Tempress Fuginot, who accuses Derek of causing terrors in reality using his powers. Sideways escapes but dislocates his shoulder and gets cut bruises everywhere. This puts him in the hospital but with his identity in check. While there is a new super speed character called Kill Speed who attacks the hospital and Sideways is there to stop her. There are a lot of similarities with Spider-Man here. The hero is a teenager in high school who gets sort of bullied. His adoptive mom acts like Aunt May. The love story is different and really good though. The two are friends and get along well so far. This is my favorite moment of them, but like after this, it's just Sideways fighting Kill Speed until maybe issue 4. The fights with Sideways are really creative and he can obviously be super powerful when he gets stronger. Killspeed is a great villain. She got super speed after getting hit by lightning in Central City, but when she used her powers to steal money for her leukemia treatment, the super speed it sped up to cancer to no return. Now she is mentally unstable and doesn't care anymore who she hurts. I find it really realistic for a kid to leave a superhero versus supervillain fight when the police show up, especially if he's almost dead. Yeah, he doesn't actually beat Killspeed here, he just kinda gets lucky, since... Using his powers, he escapes, but when he gets off free, his portal cuts off Killspeed's arm that was still grabbed onto him, taking it with him to where he teleported, and that's how the third issue ends. Also, there are hidden people who want to hire Derek for the Dark Star Research Internship, but that, no, they do know of his powers and that he's calling himself Sideways. At first, I wasn't so sure I liked his powers, but they can be super cool, especially when and what he can do in the third issue. And a last side note, this story is super realistic for a person who has these powers and lives in a DC universe, which I really appreciate. It's very different. You don't really see much of that anymore. I am glad that I read this. There's a lot of fun ideas, but I can't help not feeling that this story is actually, I don't really think, it's that unique or that difficult to have come up with. Anyway... Mostly not that difficult to come up with. This makes me wonder what happens next, and that's always a good sign to the writers. You know, what happens in issue 4, which I think I will read. Those were my thoughts on Sideways. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.